Hey, Russ, did you know that on Monument Square, there used to be two reflecting pools that flanked either side of the monument? Yeah, I know. We just saw that yesterday. And it's really, it looks really good. It was actually very beautiful. However, what we're going to cover today, they wouldn't be able to do what, what they do today if those reflecting pools were there. No, they wouldn't. So stick around, guys, and find out what today benefits from not having the beautiful reflecting pools that used to be on Monument Square. We'll be right back. Yeah. Uh, here we go. All right, welcome back. So I couldn't believe this when we found this out the other day that Monument Square actually used to have two reflecting pools, one on either side of the monument. Yeah, one north and one south of the monument. I know, really crazy. It really cool. It, well, it did look really cool. We saw two different pictures. One was from the 70s and one was from the 50s. And actually both of them, the one from the 50s looked cooler, but it was black and white. So yeah. you couldn't see it. Whereas the one from the 70s was in color so you could actually get a better, like a better yeah, feel perspective for it. Yeah, perspective of yeah. the shops around it and... Yes. And the buildings and, and also the pools. And Absolutely. It looked really, really good. Yeah. The gardens were lovely around it as well, and it looked a really nice place to go to. Yeah, absolutely. So, but what we're going to talk about today couldn't happen if those reflecting pools were there. No, no, unless you wanted to get wet. You'd have to get very wet. Absolutely. So, guys, if you do find any value in what we're about to say or what we've said in the past, do us a favor. Click like. Subscribe. And don't forget to put that notification bell on so you don't miss any of our future content. Absolutely. And then today we're actually going to ask people to make a comment at the end. So stick around, guys, so you can find out what comment we want or what, yeah, we, what we want to hear. We have a question for you and we want to hear from you on this question. And that's what we'd like in the comments. Yeah. Of course, you can leave any comment you want. But this week we have a specific thing. So we'll get to that at the end of the broadcast. Yeah. So today we're going to talk about <laughs> music on the monument. But music on the monument, that's what we're talking about today, which is yeah. one of the major things that happens in the downtown area during the summertime. Yeah, so from the end of June mm -hmm. all the way through to almost the end of August, Yep. every Friday and Saturday they have music on the monument. So what's really cool about that is, first of all, maybe we should start back a little bit, back it up a little bit, because, you know, people who didn't grow up in Racine or maybe people who live in Mount Pleasant or Caledonia or even people from Kenosha who might be tuning in, mm -hmm. they may not know what we mean when we say Monument Square. Okay. So let's so, talk about where yeah, is Monument where Square. Where is Monument Square? Well, it's the monument downtown and it runs between 5th and 6th Street. Yep on Main Street. So if you're going north or south on Main Street, yep. as soon as you hit 5th or 6th, whichever one you hit first, Ben depends on going the north or south. in between, that's Monument Square. So a whole block and then basically one half of that block because the other yeah. half is businesses and things. Um, but half of that block width-wise is this great big like town square, basically. Yeah. That's what it is. It's a town square. So monument There's square. There's a big monument, which is for the... Um, it's a Civil War Civil Remembrance. War. Civil War Remembrance Monument. Yeah. Yep. So that's there. And then you have um, the square around it, yep. which is where they have functions. So like Party on the Pavement party on the is pavement. part of it. Yeah. And um, First, First Fridays, Fridays, they often had stuff there as well. Yep. So but what we're going to talk about today is the music on the monument or Saturday sounds. Now, I have a suspicion. What's your suspicion? I think that maybe when this first started, that it started as Saturday Sounds on the square. Uh-huh. And then it expanded to Fridays. It did, because I remember when I first moved over here, you had first Fridays. Right. And you had Saturday Sounds. But there was no... Friday. Friday, other than first Friday. Gotcha. So, but now... So that has now expanded. We right. still have first Friday. Yep. But we also have music on the monument on Fridays as well. Right. So now for two whole months or sometimes a yeah. little bit more, because sometimes it starts about mid-June and sometimes Ed's like, you know, end of August, somewhere in that range. So for two plus months, we have... Um, these bands every week, two bands every a week, week yeah. two bands a week, basically. And that goes, uh -huh. so Monument Square, we've now told them where it is, uh -huh. right? So now let's talk a little bit. And we've kind of already alluded to when it is. It's on Fridays and Saturday nights. But 
When is it? It starts at 4.30. Yep. And runs through till 7. Right. So it still gives you plenty of time after you've listened to music, done a bit of dancing, boogieing down. You can then go to the local pubs and I think it's awesome. And... I think it's awesome that you talk about boogieing down when you're the one of the two of us who doesn't like to dance very much. Yeah, well, that's because of my leg, my war wound. Yeah, your war wound, because you don't have because you have a bad knee. Yes. Uh, but I still don't know that you you don't like to dance for other reasons. It's not just your knee. Because even when your knee was not as bad as it is to date, you just... Yeah. I used to do a mean poker. Oh my goodness. You were made to move to Wisconsin. <laughs> you know this, right? If you if you used to if you used to dance a mean polka, I used you were to made do country dancing. Uh, in the school. That's true. Yeah. yeah. That's not a polka though. That was like I won competition. That was like ribbon dancing though. <laughs> it's like it's like folk dancing. And we would call that folk dancing yeah. in, in the US. But anyway. If you want to boogie down with Russ, apparently, um, between 4.30 and 7 from Fridays and Saturday nights. Yeah. And that's Monument Square. And, okay, so let's talk about, like, what kind of music is it? Is it all the same kind of music? Who is it? Yeah, it's uh, country. Yep. Rock and bi- rockabilly rebel. <laughs> I don't know why you keep adding rebel to that. It's just rockabilly. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's just rockabilly. Uh, but they have country, they have rockabilly, they have regular rock. Rockabilly, um, uh, R&B. Some pop, some R&B, some blues. We've been yeah. to some decent blues ones down there yeah. as well. Um, you and I, but mostly it's what I would refer to as local bands. Yeah. I don't think it's like any kind of like national bands and stuff. It's like up and coming bands. Uh-huh. And I will say that the ones who are younger sometimes go on to do some pretty cool things. One of them, um, some of them actually play at Summerfest as well. Yeah. So yeah. there are local bands that some of them play at Summerfest and some of them play um, at other local festivals and events and make a pretty decent living during the summer. Yeah. So it's kind of nice that we have some country. We have some blues. We have some R&B. Yeah. We have some contemporary pop. A we have we have everyone. original artists. I think that's really interesting because you got a nice variety. So, you know, so let's talk about like why. Why do this? Well, first of all, it starts at 430. So that's really nice for anybody who works in the downtown area. Yeah, you haven't got to go far. Come straight out of work and yeah. um, walk over to the square. Yep. All the people who work at City Hall, County Courthouse, the attorney's offices that are downtown, the yeah. the other businesses that are there. And? Anyone that gets off of work outside, or, you know, outside of the town center, they can... Also travel in, park up, get over there. Still got plenty of time. Yep. Got a couple of hours over there for some nice music. Yeah, because even if people get off at like 5.30 or 6 o'clock, they can still come downtown by 6 o'clock yeah. and still get an hour's worth of music. And the advantage of coming in by 6 o'clock is... Free parking. Free parking from 6 o'clock on. So, yeah. yeah. But what's the purpose of it? Well, the purpose is also to help promote downtown businesses. I think part of the purpose is to get people into downtown Racine yeah. to see how awesome it is. Because there's a lot of restaurants down there and bars. There's and- a lot of shops and restaurants that people wouldn't have heard of. Yes. Unless they go down there. You know, Again, you, it's local you businesses. You start walking around. I mean, we found our favorite restaurant of all time down that way. Well, I don't know about of all time, but definitely in our top 10 list of favorite restaurants. I'll put a link to our top five restaurant picks in Racine. Uh-huh. And our top, our number one pick for Racine is... Is in the downtown area and very well, easy walking several distance. Several of them are in the downtown. Yes, area. but our very favorite yeah. one, the top yeah. of our list, is in the downtown Racine area and quite easy walking distance too. So there's some really cool things to do downtown. And if you have Saturday off, go to one of the museums on Saturday and then hit the yeah, south on and the if square. It's actually, first Friday. A lot of oh the museums goodness, so allow much. you in for free. Yeah, so much to do on first Fridays, but we'll yeah. we've done a we've done a video on that already. We so have, yeah. you can see that one as well if you look back on our channel. We have a lot going on in our city. This uh, is done by the downtown Racine Corporation, yeah. though, which is comprised of basically local business owners who, who live and work in downtown Racine and they promote, you know, people coming in and enjoying things. And of course, yeah. it's a business decision, but it is a lot of fun in downtown Racine it now. It is a lot of fun. I have got music here. going on in the square, plus some of the other venues, some of the bars and that will have music going on at the, on the same night. Yep. And do you know that as of this August, I have actually been, I've lived in Racine for 15 years. Wow. Yeah. I actually moved into that first apartment um, 
in 15 years ago. And so 15 years ago, I will tell you, my apartment was not that far from downtown. It was walking distance to downtown. There wasn't a whole lot going on downtown. There were a few businesses, but it was not in great shape. Now, 15 years later, I and we enjoy going into downtown. Yeah, it's like super convenient. We still live near the downtown area. Technically, I can I mean, not technically, I can walk into the downtown. Your knee kind of makes that impossible. Uh So we have to drive now. But but yeah, I mean, we're still easy walking distance for most people to get into the downtown area. If you're, you know, pretty physically fit and able to walk decent amounts. Yeah. And you can enjoy dinner out. You can enjoy going out for the evening and there's stuff to do. It's a nice environment downtown now in the evenings, Definitely, yes. especially it's on the weekends, environment. especially on the weekends. Yeah. There's, um, and there's great things. Like, honestly, if I was planning a Saturday in downtown Racine, here's what I would do. I'd start at Maple Table. Awesome breakfast. Awesome breakfast. I yeah. go to some of the museums, the art museum, uh-huh. the history museums, the, like go to the, the, the museums right. downtown. Walk around a little bit, maybe walk through the marinas so you can get like go down to the, like the end of the Christopher Columbus Causeway and just like see all the cool boats and the fishermen uh-huh. and looking out at the lake. If you have kids in summertime, bring them to the fountain, those little fountains that the kids can like when it's really hot out, they can jump uh-huh. in the water and everything. Then and hit, you've also got smoked on the sounds, water down there. Exactly. So music for your lunch. And drink and lunch. You've got lunch there. You've got at the Red Onion. You've got lunch as well. Yeah. Um. Then come back up. Hit Saturday Sounds of the Square and go out for dinner afterwards. Yeah. That's a great day in downtown Racine. Oh, yeah. In my opinion. Downtown Racine is worth seeing, even if you are not from the Racine area. Come in on a Friday and Saturday. We've got some really cool things that are going on. Mm -hmm. And we will put a link in the description to the Downtown Racine Corporation's calendar so people can find it easily. So they know who's going to be playing. you can see a list of who is playing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. You can absolutely see a list of who it is that's playing that week when you're coming in, which would be a lot of fun. Yeah. So now here's the best part of it, because what's the cost? How much? Absolutely free. Absolutely free. Just bring a smile. And we also recommend bringing a bag. Yeah, possibly. They do have chairs there, but yes. obviously if it's one of the more popular bands that's yep. going, they, you know, the seats get taken. And if you want to be more comfortable, bring a bag chair. Just throw it in the back of your car. Have it ready yeah. to go. But the thing we started off with, as we were talking about, Monument Square used to have these reflecting pools and this grassy area. But the question, the question that we want people to to answer is... When were they taken away? Yeah, we don't know. We couldn't find that out. So drop a comment below if you know what year did they remove the reflecting pools from Monument Square. Yeah, we'd love to know. Yeah, we'd love to know. And I bet other people would like to know as well. So drop a comment. And and don't forget, uh, if you have found any value in this content, do us a favor and click like. Subscribe. And turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss any of our future content. And thanks so much for joining us today. And And look forward to seeing you around town. If you bump into us, say hi. Absolutely. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. And we look forward to seeing you here again for our next video. Yeah, look forward to it. All right. Bye for now. Bye for now. But today we're going to talk about. Well, what are we talking about, Russ? Saturday sounds. <laughs> I forgot what it was. Oh, my God. Well, we haven't got a head in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> When is it? Where is it? It's in Monument Square. It's on Friday. From 4.30. There we go. Okay, start that part over. Okay. <laughs> Did you not get what I was trying no, to pass off I to didn't. you? Because we were talking about when. <laughs> well, the good news is I think we've already got some good bloopers for the end and people don't, won't even see that part. <laughs>